we upcycle plastic waste which is not easy to recycle it is obviously not degradable these products from all of this waste we do it using a very interesting method uh, we use a traditional charkha and a hand loom to make all these products and in process we create employment opportunities for our tribal women our artisans and underprivileged people after completing my engineering degree uh, a job in an it company a multinational it company in pune uh, over the next 3 4 years i realized that i want to do something more with my life towards the planet towards the environment and finally launched this movement of upcycling plastic waste i also realized that bottles or containers uh, these kind of hard wastes were getting recycled they were getting picked up by waste pickers because they have a market this waste which is all the thin plastic bags and wrappers this is something that has a very high volume to weight ratio because of this there is no market waste pickers are not going to come and pick up this waste because it's sure uh, you know loss of uh, econ economics for them uh, hence this is the plastic waste we decided to work on because this wasn't getting recycled it but the whole idea was that thinking of how should we recycle it because then you end up using a lot of heat or electricity or some chemicals to recycle it so what can be done with this plastic waste when not a lot of heat or no electricity or chemicals would have would be used so the original colors of the plastic waste is retained we don't dye them or add any different colors to it existing colors are sorted to make different designs and patterns and then we manually cut each and every wrapper and plastic bag using a pair of scissors so we don't even use a shredder so that is where majority of our employment is actually getting created in this cutting and sorting process then we use a traditional charkha that's why re charkha like you rightly said so using the re, uh, using the charkha which is a spindle we uh, make reels from all of this plastic waste and then we use a hand loom to weave all of this plastic waste and make fabric from it once the fabric is ready and then we make uh, products design beautiful uh, different things and make products from all of this plastic waste so these are warli tribals who never knew anything about weaving or this kind of craft but they were very eager to learn and uh, take this uh, initiative forward and it was exciting uh, for us to one by one hire people uh, so mostly uh, women are employed with us uh, there are only three men one of one of them is our supervisor and the other two are deaf and mute men from the village so we also uh, decided to employ people with uh, special abilities so that they can come and work with us and they are actually a great asset to our team as well Uh, I always uh, you know visited all these handicraft exhibitions etc and that's when the discovery that a plastic waste could be woven together uh, happened and uh, that's where we picked it up and said that hey this could be the solution but this has to be done on a larger scale and to make a product which can then finally be used by people like you and me uh, as a consumer uh, consumer product uh, that's how we came up with uh, products such as the handbags or home decor products which anybody uh, could use and it could make some value to them from the ways that they have used in the past friends and family uh, they were our first customers all of these people uh, all of them were our first interns our first employees i'm also very proud to say that my husband abhishek has joined me as a partner and uh, he is also working with recharka to take it forward through social media more and more people got to know about us uh, that's how the word spread Recharka after 10 years is not working on plastic waste anymore because plastic waste disappears <laughs> that's the dream i have 
Maybe I'm being too optimistic that that will happen in 10 years. But why not? Let's be optimistic.